How's everybody doing? <laughs> everybody making it okay? <laughs> uh, the market, uh, a bloodbath. And again, the plunge protection team hard at work, getting everything taken care of. No major crashes. No major crashes. You know, no, the Dow's not down 5,000 points like it ought to be. If everything was, you know, real out there in the world, that's what it would be down. But no, no, oh, we lost 500 points. And you know what? We're up today. So it's okay. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Uh, you know, I'm not an economist. I'm not an expert in these things. I do think I'm pretty smart. And just my intelligence alone tells me the red line on this is on this graph is not a good thing. <laughs> First Republic Bank looks like to be in serious trouble. I don't know about you, but that's what the red line tells me. Bad. Red line, bad. Um, they said today, or was it yesterday, that no, 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 we're not going to do a bailout. There will be no bailouts. Don't worry, taxpayers. There won't be any bailouts this time. We will, however, give First Republic Bank and some of these other banks a $70 billion loan. But don't call it a bailout. It's not a bailout. It's just a loan that they may or may not have to pay back. So what they're doing is they're pumping liquidity. Remember that word, that crazy languages they use. They're pumping money into the banking system to make sure First Republic and SVG and Signature and all these other banks are going to stay okay. All you depositors are going to be just fine. Oh my goodness. That, that's another thing I saw. It's it's a loan. I also heard, saw the word, well, we're putting in a backstop. See, we're putting in this financial backstop in order to stop the, the calamity that we see in the banking system. See, that's 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 code word for bailout. <laughs> they are printing money. It's a bailout. It's called a backstop, Zach. A backstop. It's not a bailout. Okay. <laughs> If all that wasn't bad enough, if that wasn't all we had to worry about, the Pentagon has actually said there is an alien mothership possibly in our solar system. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. We are literally living in bizarro world. There might be an alien mothership hanging around. That's why we've seen all these UFOs lately. It's just sending out probes. Okay, guys. So uh, the other day, I saw this article that came out. Tim sent this to me. This was the Great Great Britain, the United Kingdom, is now requiring or will soon require all chicken owners to register their chickens. Well, Zach, I don't live in Great Britain. This is coming here. Okay, listen. I told you before. They want you to register your garden. People were like, oh, Zach, they're not going to do that. Then I came up with all these other news articles to say, yeah, they're pushing, they're going to eventually push you to register your garden. If you have a garden, you need to register your garden. And now Great Britain has come out, we're going to register, if you have chickens, you have to register them. This is to protect you. We'll read the article in a second. Guys, this is not just Great Britain. Wisconsin, read this. Premises registration. Wisconsin is the first state in the nation to mandate livestock premises registration. This is talking about livestock and this includes chickens. What must be registered? It says any location in Wisconsin where livestock are kept or congregated must be registered. Livestock includes cattle, swine, poultry, sheep, goats, horses, Farm raised deer, <laughs> farm raised deer, game birds, including pheasants, quail, wild turkeys, bison, llamas, rat, ratites, uh, and emus, whatever a ratite is, a fin fish. Your goldfish must be registered. Premises include farms, hobby farms, veterinary clinics, stables, animal markets, livestock feedlots. It's basically anywhere. Anywhere animals are kept. Uh, who must register? Basically, everyone. Are there any exemptions? Individuals with a sincerely held religious belief opposing registration of a livestock premises can seek exemption. That's right. If you have a sincere, deep belief that you don't have to register your chickens because Jesus says so. <laughs> Wisconsin says you can apply. Denied. I'm sorry. It's not just Wisconsin, Maryland as well. Registering your flock, it's the law. Oh, and it's free. Any person with poultry in Maryland must register their birds. That's any person, person with poultry 
must register their birds. So don't think this is just those crazy Brits over there, those crazy limeys. <laughs> just the crazy limeys. It's, it's coming here too, folks. Here we go. Great Britain government requires homegrown chickens to be registered to tackle bird flu. The article begins, people in Great Britain who keep chickens in the yards are forced to register them with the government under a new proposed law to stop the spread of bird flu. As part of the ongoing efforts to combat avian influenza, the government of England, Wales, and Scotland introduced a proposal on Wednesday that would make it mandatory for all poultry keepers to formally register their birds. I just recently lost all my birds in a boating accident. The new rules apply to all bird keepers, no matter how many birds they own. Currently, people only who keep 50 birds or more are required to do so by law. So this would include everybody. Under the rule, people who keep birds as pets or for food production, i.e. eggs, will be forced to register as well. Failure to do so is a violation of the law. They would be also required to update their information every year. The owners are required to provide information which includes their contact information, the location where their birds are kept, the name of their firstborn son, the name of their first grade teacher, whether or not they've gotten the Fauci ouchie, as well as information regarding the species, quantity, and purpose of the birds. These proposals will enable us to have a full picture of the number and location of birds kept across Great Britain and make it easier to track and manage the spread of avian disease. This information will also help inform future risk assessment and maintain our commitment to continually building our extensive avian influenza research portfolio. Yes, you know, whether or not you have birds just helps us in our research. It's just our research. Registering your poultry is an effective way of monitoring and controlling the spread of disease to protect the national flock. Yeah, because that's how the virus works, you see. The virus travels around through the air or however means possible, taking the bus or a cab or taxi, and then it comes upon a registered flock of birds and says, oh no, we can't go over there. Those birds are registered. We as a virus have to go somewhere else, CC. We can't be here. These are registered birds. We got to find the unregistered birds. We can infect those. But that's not all. By registering their birds with the Animal and Plant Health Agency, keepers will ensure they receive important updates, such as any local influenza outbreaks and information on biosecurity rules to help protect their flocks from the threat of avian influenza. That's right, you register your flock and we'll let you know if any important information comes out on the biosecurity of your avian flock, you know, such as turn in your avian flock, you're not allowed to have them anymore. The new rules would cover owners of backyard flocks, birds of prey, and pigeon fanciers. Fan I'm not sure what's a fancier, but would not affect pet birds kept entirely inside a domestic dwelling such as a parrot or a budgie, a budgie kept in a cage indoors, which never leaves the property other than to visit a vet or other short term period. I know the way around this. We just need to get our chickens to identify as something else. What can chickens identify? We need to do the LGBTQC. C is not on there yet, is there? Velociraptors. Everyone is saying today that chickens evolved from velociraptors. Are chickens related to velociraptors? It says right here, yes they are. Chickens are domesticated birds and bird is a name for an animal clade of avalae. Avalae is a clade within the clade ther theropoda, which includes Tyrannosaurus and velociraptors. So there you go. My chickens now identify as meat eating, dangerous velociraptors and there's no registration required for those. You can keep those so they're fine. <laughs> Oh, the world's just gone nuts. Hey guys, before you leave, smash that like button. I really appreciate that. Let's everyone know, and YouTube included, that people do watch and enjoy our shows and our videos. I appreciate all that. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, guys, see you next time in the homestead. Bye. Alexander the Great. Did you know when he died, his body was placed in a coffin made of solid gold? Decades later, Ptolemy X and Cleopatra III stole the coffin and gold artifacts just so they could pay their war debts. Germany, at the time of World War II, stole all of the gold they could get their hands on, and much of it still today has not yet been accounted for. You see, all throughout history, when times get tough, people, either good or bad, seek real wealth. They turn to gold and silver. The central banks and Wall Street cheerleaders would have you believe that gold and silver are just shiny rocks with no real value. But did you know that central banks around the world have for the last year been buying record amounts of gold and silver for stockpiling? Stockpiling for what? What do they know that they're not telling us? Genesis Gold Group is a proud supporter of an American homestead. They help people get out of locked in 401ks and IRAs into something that's real, physical gold and silver. 
If you're gonna be locked into something, it might be a good idea to talk to Genesis Gold Group about being locked into something physically vaulted instead of just a piece of paper that at the end of the day is just that, a piece of paper. It's a clear surety that our economy is headed for turbulent waters. The nation is currently over $31 trillion in debt and Congress keeps spending money and the Fed keeps printing it. That does not bode well for anyone keeping and saving money in savings accounts or paper denominated assets. Call Genesis Gold Group today, this instant, or visit them online at genesisgoldgroup.com. They can put together a strategy that's right for you. And be sure to say that you heard about them from an American homestead. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait.